Afternoon guys. Out here after work. And um, got something a bit special today, something I've never done before. Gonna be going after some big sharks. Whoa, oh, they had multiple hookups then, lost them all. Got another one here. Yeah, going after sharks. We will get mull away where I'm fishing as well, so there's always that chance, but mainly after the sharks. There's a lot of sharks around at the moment, following the bonito around, which is really, I know a really dangerous spot actually, but where I wouldn't swim personally. Now this type of fishing isn't for novices really. You've really got to be aware of fish in the back of a break zone here. So you really got to check your tides, check the bottom, make sure you're not sitting on the bank so when the tide drops you're going to get a breaker on you. And you really got to stay aware. I used to do a lot of this fishing when I was younger, when I was a bit crazier, and that's how I got my biggest mull away. A lot of my big mull, mull away I got like that. The biggest one was 22 kilo. And that was just fishing off the back of a breaker with a live tailor. Steve will remember that one, he was there with me. But yeah, it's a good way to get to where you want to fish if it's hard to fish. It is a bit of a scarier way of fishing. Um, you do pick up a lot of sharks this way too, which is why I've brought a bit of steel trace set up today. Um, there's been a lot of hammerheads and everything getting around, so it'd be really interesting to check that out. Anyway, we're coming up the spot. I really want it sucking in, not so much sucking out. Or if it is sucking out, I do want to fish next to it. Otherwise, we'll be facing the right the wrong way. So I just got to find the right spot here. And as I said, really got to keep an eye on the breakers. Make sure you're in a good posse. As you can see, the waves are just breaking right there. So really got to be aware, you got to set your anchor, make sure you let a lot of rope out for the waves and swell on it. I've got a bit of a mixed sort of setup here. All of them I've got thick traces on, just for the sharks. So this one I've got, this one I'm running a um, 20 pound 20 pound braid and then I'm running on the 30 pound uh, mono and then onto a 50 pound trace. So we're just going to get that whole yakker out, one fillet taken off the side, so plenty of smell coming out of that one. Okay, now big boy's getting out. Steel trace. Lobbing him out. Lobbing him out. There. Right there there's a third rig. Fulfill it on gangs. Bloody hell. A long trace I was at the video, eh? Taylor on the floating fillet then. So I think I might present him back up on this floating bait and throw him back out. Look at that for a bait, whole fillet on there, gang hook. The reason I'm using gangs is because there's a big tailor hanging around and sharks. So if they take it, I want to stand half a chance. Lob that back out there. I'm going to go with this one. Can't remember what was on this whole fillet, was it? Whoop. There's 
one. Oh, what do we got here? What have we got here? Feels a bit. Feels a bit grey, actually. Oh, it's getting a bit of weight now. This is on the whole because it was a yakka. Jesus. It feels a bit ray. It's that sort of dead weight. Maybe a shovel nose or something. Got some big baits out here today. We got that whole tailor thing out the back there as well. Whole fill of the tailor. This was a yakka fillet. Nothing but big baits today. What have we got here? For the first, well, first decent fish, I've got the tailor. Oh, it's a hammerhead. Oh, that. What is it? Oh, it's a big gummy shark. I think it's a big gummy shark. Holy hell, if this is a gummy shark, I've never got a good one of these. But they're meant to be awesome eating, I'm not going to keep them. Not too, way too much fish for me. Yeah, it's way too much fish for me. I won't be able to get through this and fill my bloody freezer up. So, I, yeah, I've never eaten a gummy shark. Oh, I might have from a fish and chip shop, but. There you go. And this is a big. I've, I've caught one of these once before in the lake. But this is a big sucker. This is a big 20 kilo job, this one. Rod's a little bit under gun for this kind of stuff, but I just want to have a little look at him. I assume if he's got no teeth, he's a, he's a bloody gummy shark. He's gonna, he's gonna carry on to it. I can tell right now he's gonna carry on. Dangerous pulling a shark on board. What do you reckon? Wait, I'm no gummy shark expert. What the hell is it? He's a, he's a bloody decent fish. He's got no teeth on it. I can have a good look at the head there. He looks like a gummy shark to me. Bloody decent fish. If he calms down a little bit, I'll get that hook out of you, mate. Oh, come on, mate. What do you reckon? Gummy shark? I think he's a gummy shark. What do you reckon? No teeth? Big bladder? That 20 kilo, the freaking thing. Anyway, I'm gonna let him go. I'll just check the camera's on. Yep, you're all good. All right. Here you go, Nothing wrong with you. You're not Well, first shark. 
sun's really high in the sky still, so I'm on the right track. Bloody tied me, <laughs> tied me out, wrangling that shark and bringing him in. But yeah, drop a comment, let me let me know what you think. I think it was a gummy. Uh, yeah, just take the backbone out of him. I'm using 7.0 circle hook on this. Just so if I get something decent, it tries to get in the corner of the mouth. Alright, get him out there. Hell. Looks like the um, whole tail of frame's gone off here. Just bent over on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yep, big bloody shark. Big bloody shark. It's on the surface, the freaking thing. Might be a hammerhead. Oh, I knew this shark fishing would be going off. What have we got here? Was, oh, yeah, it might be. It's on the freaking surface. Whatever it was. Yeah, hammerhead. Got a hammerhead here. That bait wasn't. I'm going from rod to rod, shark after shark. I knew it would be like this out here. It's really not a beach you want to swim at, this beach. Anyway, I'm not going to pull the hammerhead in board because um, he's got teeth, so I don't want the bloody thing on board. I know I have pulled him in on the past, but. That was just for a bit of good TV. It's only a little fella, this one. Probably bloody this thing, it's only a little one. There we go. Hammerhead, just a little one, I'm gonna get him out quick. him pulling in the boat. He's literally going off his head. Just gotta cut him off. Get rid of him. There he goes. Bloody hell. I didn't get that steel trace off, but I just had to cut it and pull it. He was going rank. Yeah, so that's it. Just crimp. You can look at that. Just using a wire trace. You can make your own length. I'm just crimping it with an 8 on it. And no sinker on this setup. That tail of frame didn't last long with that hammerhead. So I always know tail is good bait, so maybe we'll get some more of them. Anyway, we'll put a yakker out for the meantime. Hopefully we get another big one. Alright. Butterfly yakker. No sinker on this one. Yeah, and as I said, 50 pound grade, 50 pound trace. So I can deal with a good fish on this. Dealt with that hammerhead, no problem. Got him in in about a minute. Oh, I got another one here. Seems like every rod I freaking go to. Ch oh, this one's spinning, which says to me stingray or shovel nose. Ah, uh, banjo shark. Oh, well, keep the variety, <laughs> keep the variety coming. Sharks, greys. What's next? Oh, there he goes. Oh, I think I'm getting done. I'm oh, my yakker again. Oh shit! Is it gonna be? What have we got this time? Oh shit, what do we got this time? Here it comes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no. Another black, I think he's seen my other rod. Or oh, I've got another fish on, which is normally my type of style. Oh, we got two fish on. 
That's how I roll. And I think I do have two fish on to tell you the truth. What type of shark we got? Well, that's the question. Oh, he feels a bit bigger, this one. This one feels a bit bigger. This is the land of the giants, this is. This is not a beach I would be swimming at. Every bait's getting smashed in. A couple of minutes. A couple of minutes, just gets hammered. Holy shit. What do we got this time? Just wanna have a look at him. See how big he is. Whoa. Another shark, I know that. This time, another hammer. Oh, Jesus. I think it's a hammerhead. Yeah, another hammerhead. A bit bigger. A bit bigger than the last one. Oh, they're beautiful looking fish. Wow. Oh, and he's destroyed my other braid. Great. Just what I wanted. crazy fishing. I'm no shark fisherman but I thought I'd have a crack at it. One species I haven't really targeted and every two oh, every it's the land of the giants it really is. Oh no he's making all sorts of trouble for me tangling all the rods up probably about a 25 kilo fish this one First one was probably only about eight kilo or something. This one's quite, oh, it's probably about 15 odd. They're solid fish, but I'm gonna have to cut him off again. It's easy to use some tackle for fishing with these sharks. I'll try and cut him as close as I can. I'll try and get a good footage of him. Because he's a decent fish. Beautiful, majestic looking fish they are. The hammerhead. Absolutely beautiful. Come on, mate. There we go. He's off. Oh, another gummy shark. Awesome. I might have found the gummy shark hole. And these are de definitely gummy sharks because I can see the spots on their back. No teeth. Spots on their back, and that face looks very familiar to a gummy shark. Actually, that's the way you pop eating these gummy sharks. Yeah, I'm, I'm 90% sure these are gummy sharks. We got the spots on the back, no teeth, and that head looks very gummy shark like, and the body shape. No expert, but yeah, pretty sure it's a gummy shark. Meant to be top eating. I may have found the honey hole for gummy sharks. I'm going to carry on now with it. This is why you don't pull ones in with teeth. This one doesn't have teeth, luckily. He gave me a little slap around the ankle, but with his tail, I'm just going to wait for the seal out and cut him off. Tail's got a fair bit of kick in there. It. It's probably about it's over a metre. And that's the smaller one. The other one was bloody huge. Alright, let's cut him off and get rid of him. Geez, you go through some tackle with this shark fishing butt. Every single shark seems to take your hook down. It's the way it is, I think. Using circle hooks and everything. and. Um, Still not kidding. Still doesn't want to, um, yeah, I'll give you a good look, but see the dots, spots on them? See the spots on them there? Pretty sure that's a gummy. Looks like a gummy head to me. Alright, let's let him go. Come on, mate. 
there's nothing wrong with them when they go back. Wow, they fly back. So there's the beach there, guys. Blacksmith's Beach. Got the break wall over there. But probably about 200 metres off the beach, I suppose. Nice safe here because it's you start to get a bit close, you can get those freak waves rolling in and they can break. And you really don't want to be in that zone. But um, shit, it's about what time is it? Five o'clock, so the sun is really high in the sky, and the baits stay in the water for two minutes, literally two minutes, and shark after shark. So I can imagine they're only going to get bigger and thicker as it gets darker. Um, that's if I've got any bait by then. Anyway, I've got to rig all three freaking rods up now because that hammerhead destroyed everything. And as you can see out there, maybe you can make that out, but there's shark boys out there. Yeah, there. A bit hard to hold 10 times zoom, but yeah, because you get big great whites hanging around these beaches too, so they got the shark drum lines there. Got another one over here as well. I know it looks like I'm close, but I'm actually probably about five, probably a few hundred meters away from them, I guess. Yeah. All right, time to rig the lines up. All right, here we go again. Running low. Geez, I'm chilling through these quick. Shark. Not what you really want. Kind of pretty fish, I suppose. Blues and stripes and that on them. I'll see if I can grab it, or I might just cut it off. Have the GoPro going. Didn't even have the GoPro going, but another big hammerhead. Yeah, up that 50 kilo size again. Uh, maybe not quite as big as the other one, but wow, they're a nice looking fish. They really are. Let's have a look see at him. It's hard to get a gauge on the size when you don't have your hand near them, but. A decent sized shark. That one's probably about 1.4 1. 1. long. Not quite as big as the other one. The other one was sort of getting up to that 1.8. Anyway, let's cut him off. They love this bloody floating rig, no sinker. Just got the steel trace on it, and yeah, it's killing it. Took a fillet off that one, just gonna get him out. Run out of big hooks, so I'm down to a five o on that. But I'm sure he'll still do the job. Oh, look at that shark! Look at that shark! They're just cruising around the boat, hammerheads just came smashing through the I just had a tailor school come up and it was splashing around the boat and then this hammerhead just came ripping through the middle of them just then yeah yeah I don't know why people swim around here I really don't look at him I'm gonna throw my bait on him I'm gonna pitch cast him here he is I'm gonna pitch cast him oh he's a big hammerhead let's see if I can get him be unreal to get a sight cast on him. Come on, Mr. Hammerhead. 
the way he was screaming around, he's going to take a lot of line off me very quickly if I hook him. He's full of energy. Here he is. Here he is. Let's see if I can pitch him. Oh, he's on to my bait. He's got my bait. He's got it. Oh, I dropped him. It's right here. He's coming back for it. He's coming back for it. There he is. Oh, he's circling it. Circle on my bait here. I'm just gonna take it here. He took half of it, bugger. Just left. <laughs> Look what he did. Oh god. Sight casting hammerheads, I never. Let's try and side cast him up again. That's a good size hammerhead actually. Oh, this one's going off. What have I oh dear, is it the hammerhead? Oh, I dunno. I don't think it is a hammerhead. This is on the fillet, this one. a bit sharky. This is a bit dangerous actually. I got the other rod just chucked out with that hammerhead zooming around. A little bit dangerous. Oh no. The other one's going off here. It's alright. Oh the shark's on the way and the bird. The bird and the shark are trying to eat my other bait. The bird's got the freaking Look at the shark going around the bird. This is unbelievable fishing. Look at the bird, he's got my bait and the hammerhead is circling him. As soon as he lets go of that, I hope he holds it because I've, I've got to deal with this. But as soon as he lets go of that bait, that hammerhead is going to smash that. And I hope I've got this fish in by then. And it's another gummy shark. You can really see the spots on these smaller ones from the gummy shark. That's gummy shark number three. Yeah, you can really see the spots on them. Long bodies on them, long skinny bodies. And I've got to concentrate on this other rod because something's going to happen there. That bird is trying to eat my bait, but the hammerhead isn't really letting him. Come on, mate. There he goes. All right, let's see if we can get this hammerhead. As soon as this bird drops his bait, that hammerhead's gonna grab it, I reckon, because he's circling. Off bird. Taylor ration at me. Top bait these are. Sharks cannot resist these babies. Yeah, the whole fill of Taylor went off here. <laughs> Literally, bait doesn't stay in the water for more than five minutes is the max it stays in. Now we got a banjo shark. And that'll do for that rig. Not that enough. Yeah, I've had enough today. Good enough. Good little gym workout. Might just wait for that other line to go off. Might call it a day. That's it, guys. Another adventure done. Shark fishing. Well, I never. Going off its head. I knew it would be. 
we see by the sun. Only out here for about an hour and a bit. What did we get? Four hammerhead, three big gummies, plenty of rays, tailor, and yeah, it gave the arms a good workout. It's literally average couple of minutes between baits taken. The longest the bait stayed in the water was about five minutes. So really good fishing, really good for the um, for the system. Sharks generally mean good fishing, so it's good to see. It was great to see that hammerhead smashing on the surface. Really great to see. Alright guys, if you ain't fishing, you're wishing. I'll see you on the water. Catch it.